coaching manual. It's done a lot of work around the principles of play over the last few years. We've been involved with national governing bodies and coach educators from across the globe. And again, there's some fantastic courses being delivered globally. However, we feel that the principles of play sometimes are not being covered in us in enough depth. So there's so much information out there now. Um, it's important that coaches and players have have the sort of fundamental understanding of why we are doing the things that we are doing. So the coaching manual has made a conscious decision to sort of provide information and knowledge and content on the principles of the game. Because once coaches understand these principles, they can then tweak that to, to whatever system, playing style, formation that they wish. So it's important. Step one is we understand the principles of the game and and why the game is played in a certain way and how players and teams and units can meet those principles. Football is obviously an invasion game and there's 17 laws but the principles of the game give the structure and framework of how to sort of win the game if you like in different ways that this invasion game can be played. So the principles of play are important for coaches because they're almost the cornerstone of the game and how the game is played and achieved. Uh, if you look at any any coach or any manager at any level of the game, whether it's professional or, or non-league or grassroots, they're all trying to achieve the principles of the game with their team. You compare and contrast a, a Pep Guardiola to a Diego Simeone, very, very different style of play. But again, Diego Simeone's teams are still trying to address and meet the principles of play in order to win the game, score goals and prevent the opposition from scoring. So it's vital that coaches understand the principles of play. If, if, if they don't understand the principles of play, then any tactical system or structure could fail because they, they don't clearly understand why they're doing it. A coach can line up with any formation in any game model, 7v7, 9v9, 11v11. So whether you play a 4-2-3-1 or a 3-4-3 or a 3-5-2, the principles can still be the same. Creating space, it's then the nuances of, well, if we've got the ball in the defensive third, what does a back three do? How do we create space? Irrelevant of the formation, coaches need to understand them, players need to understand them, and then we can achieve sort of the principles of the game, whether you're in possession, out of possession or during transition.